OK, you're a Microsoft Excel and you want to know how to combine the AND and the OR functions with the IF function. So to begin with, I'm going to start to look at AND and OR in isolation, but then we'll learn how to combine them with IF. So I have a list of staff here and I've got a Y in this column if they speak French and a Y in this column if they speak Chinese. And first of all, we want to know whether the member of staff speaks either French or Chinese. Now, this is where we would use the OR function. Now, the OR function allows you to run multiple tests and it will return true if any of the tests are met. So if you had 100 tests, 99 weren't met, but one was, the OR function would return true. So let's see how we can use it here. Equals OR. So the first argument is logical one. So I'm going to say, does the value in B4 equal Y? Comma, and then I can specify my second argument. So does the value in C4 equal Y? And I close the bracket and press enter. And for Bob, I get a true because he speaks French. Now, if I copy this down, you'll see I get a true as long as there's at least one Y in either column B or C. Where there are no Ys, I get a false. Now, what I can do is combine this OR with an IF because this is essentially just a logical test. So if I put the OR within the IF function, the OR is my logical test, and then I can specify a value of true. So instead of returning true, I want to return the word yes. And instead of false, I just want to return an empty cell. Two speech marks, nothing in between. Close the bracket. If I copy this down, you can see I get a yes instead of true and a blank cell instead of false. Now let's look at and. Now and will return true if all tests are met. So imagine you had 100 tests, 99 were met, but one wasn't, and would return false. So let's see how we can use it here. So I want to find out if they speak both French and Chinese. So I'd say, does the value in column B equal Y, comma, and does the value in column C equal Y? Close the bracket and press enter, and I get a false because Bob only speaks French. Now, if I copy this down, you'll see I get a true if I have two Y's, one in column B, one in column C. Now, I can put this within the if. So this time, the AND function provides the logical test. My value of true will be yes. And my value of false will be an empty text string. Close the bracket, press Enter, copy this down. I get a lot less yeses because you have to have a Y in column B and a column C to get a yes. Okay, let's look at this example. So I've got to calculate the bonus for each of these salespeople. Now you get a bonus if at least one of these targets have been met. And the bonus is 50p per total unit sold. I'm just going to widen this column a little bit. So the bonus is dependent on at least one of these sales targets being met. So I can use OR for this. OR will return true if at least one of the tests has been met. So my first logical test would be, is the total unit sold value greater than or equal to this target here for the total amount? And I need to lock that reference. I'm doing that with the F4 key at the top of my keyboard. If F4 doesn't work for you, type the dollars in as you see them there. Comma. My second test would be, is the product one total greater than or equal to the product one target? And I need to lock that reference. And my third test would be, is the product four total greater than or equal to the product four target? and I need to lock that reference as well. Now, if I close the bracket, those are all my tests performed, and I get a true, because Bob has met at least one of these targets. So the total unit sold exceeds the target there. Product one value doesn't meet the target, and product four value does meet the target. So he's met two of the targets, so he gets a true. Now, if I copy this down, 
I get a false here for Ben because he hasn't met any of the targets. This value is less than the total target. Product one value is less than the product one target. Product four value is less than the product four target. Now, this is my logical test, so I can put it within an if. And then my value of true would be the total unit sold times the bonus per unit. That's how I'm calculating the bonus. And the value of false would be a zero. Close the bracket and press enter. And if I copy this down and apply some currency format, you can see I get the bonus there in column N. Now in this example, we're trying to work out whether a mortgage should be agreed for these four applicants. There's two tests we need to perform. One, their credit score needs to at least be eight. And the second test is that the loan they have requested cannot exceed the maximum loan allowed. Now, both of these tests need to be met. So I have to use the AND function. So my first test would be, is the credit score greater than or equal to the minimum credit score, which I need to lock? And then the second test would be, is the loan requested less than or equal to the maximum loan allowed? Close the bracket and press enter. Now, if I copy this down, you can see that only applicant four gets the mortgage agreed. Now I can put this within an if. So this is my logical test, comma. My value of true I'll have as agreed. And I'll have an empty cell as my value of false. So close the bracket and press enter, copy this down, and I get agreed in that cell. Let's look at one more example. Now this is a little bit more complex. What we need to do is work out whether these five employees deserve a pay rise. Now to get a pay rise, they must have been the top salesperson for at least three months. Now, in addition to that, they must have met at least one of these other two targets. So the number of new customers needs to be at least 12 or the sales value needs to be at least 65,000. So they must meet this test and then at least one of the other tests. Now for this, I'm going to have to combine and and or. I'm going to start with and. I'm going to start with and because I know at least two tests must be met. So my first test would be, has the salesperson been the top salesperson for at least three months? And I need to lock that reference. Then I need to use an OR to test whether at least one of the other targets has been met. So my first test would be, is the number of new customers achieved greater than or equal to the number of new customers target, which I need to lock, comma, and is the sales achieved greater than or equal to the sales target, which I need to lock. So if I close the bracket for OR and then for AND and copy this down, I get two trues. So employee two has met the top salesperson target. It's got a four there. Hasn't met the number of new customers target, but has exceeded the sales target. Whereas employee one hasn't met the top salesperson target, which is the mandatory target that they must meet. Okay, so if I put this within an if, I can then just return yes if they've met the test and empty cell if they haven't. So if I copy this down, you can see the results. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.